Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. Pete's channel. As you see in front of you, there is a comment from one of my viewers by the name of Michael Harvey. And his, his comments are as follows. I am loving Apex Legends at the moment. We need more characters and maps. Separate mice for controlling Android plus virtual here is the way to go for shadow gaming on decks. Yet still being able to conveniently do a lot of Android stuff. We are moving closer to be able to use one small device for everything. I agree. Also, you can add the uh, you can add the pointer by turning the pointer trail in mouse settings. If you watch my previous video about Apex Legends, uh, our last five minutes or so in that video, I was showing you the the World of Warcraft game running on a shadow, and that I cannot play because the mouse point is not visible. And this guy by the name of Michael, he's got an idea and it's so simple. I mean, I can basically punch myself because it's so simple and I not even thought about it just to enable mouse trail because you think that not gonna work, but it does. And let's, I will show you, uh, I already test this and basically Michael Harvey saved us a lot of headaches and a lot of search just by simple comment like that's what I appreciate from you guys just share your experience share on 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 the YouTube comments and I'm right now in the reddit so just share your experience because the more people will know about deck station the more deck station will get uh, let's say traffic online and the more Samsung will develop it because it's gonna Samsung will see that this is very very uh, let's say very good opportunity for them to get more customers anyway this is another another talk for another video so let's let's do exactly what Michael suggests in his comment so what I'll do now I will open my shadow app let's go full screen and click connect to shadow so I connected and already have as you see control panel with the mouse setting just to find this I can show you you can click there and type mouse and mouse settings appears here so that's fine let's leave it there so next I'll open the virtual here server on my Android device which is on the deck station do I want a keyboard nah do I want to no I don't want any of these any of these uh oh thank you this is one of the mouse that uh mouse connections that I will use on my shadow so I'm gonna just plug that in in one, in one of the slots on my USB hub and hopefully uh, my deck station will pick it up that is being connected. So it says, do you want to use this device for virtual here? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to yes, say yes again. It's always asking twice. Don't know why, but I'm not going to question that. As long as it's working, I'm happy with that. Let's minimize this. Go back in the shadow. Let's find the virtual uh, here UI64. Run that. And optical mouse, I will just double click. And now I have this mouse pointer, as you see here, is a deck station. And this pointer, that mouse pointer that you cannot see is actually virtual here, USB mouse. So pointer for deck station, you can see, and a pointer for actual computer, you can't. So let's do what Michael suggested in his comment. Let's go into settings, mouse settings, additional mouse options. And under pointer, on a, uh, pointer options, Display the trail. So that's turned on. So now, as you see, this is a shadow of virtual here mouse. And another one got stuck. Just hold on. Oops. I put. So as you see, I have two now. So the, the one on the right, that one we couldn't see. And just by following the Michael suggestion, allow the pointer trail, is everything fixed. So instead of having like a, this long trail, just for convenience, we're going to make it shorter. And now if I'll apply and click OK and close that, I have a mouse here and I have a mouse here. So I have two. So now I know exactly which one it is. You can tweak a bit of the, the actual uh, Windows mouse. Let's say Windows. Um, why the start menu is still at the bottom? Hold on. Let me let me quickly disable disable that so if I click here oops there you go so I'll, I'll this is basically which one is moving it's a shadow mouse 
Let, let's call it shadow mouse. So I'm going to go to mouse settings and just for convenience to know exactly which one I'm looking at or which mouse is being controlled, let's uh, change it to something like this. So now I know the big mouse is shadow and the smaller mouse is text station and it stopped working for some reason. I think it's because of uh, connections or text station decided to over. So you see, the smaller one is the text station mouse, the bigger one is the shadow mouse. So what we're going to do now, let's play some World of Warcraft. Let's open up World of Warcraft and let's see how it works. Will it work right now properly? Let's see, let's see. All the Warcraft starting now. Press play. Game is running. That's a good news. Connecting. I hope you can hear the sound because I do. So as you see, I have the pointer. I have a pointer so I can click go into a world and now a recap. I have two mouse points, uh, two mouse peripherals connected to my deck station. That one that on the right that you can't see, but on the right is a deck station. Or uh, on the left mouse is a shadow mouse, and a keyboard is just a keyboard to a deck station. Nothing is been streamed via virtual here. Keyboard is just a keyboard. So now what I'll do the deck station mouse. I'm just gonna move it. Out. You see there? I have two mouse pointers. So I'm gonna move this one somewhere here, out of the way, just to. Do not basically uh, come on, just stay there, stay there. And now this is a mouse. So, right now, let's go and try to complete the quest. And I have a mouse pointer working. So, I'm gonna go and try to kill something or someone, and I'll try to loot. Because uh, that's basically the demo I was doing in a previous video. I couldn't do any looting because I couldn't see any mouse pointer, so I wasn't able to click right click on the. Yes. On the on the basically Show on a person the so yes fine so apparently uh, streaming quality is a bit crap at the moment I think my something is downloading something in my house but that's I need let's let's leave it for I'm out of and right click on this loot and carry on as you can see everything is working. So I got the mouse pointer and everything is brilliant. So here we are. So Michael's suggestion paid off. I mean, thank you very much Michael for suggesting this. Like I said, it's such a simple trick to do and I never, never thought about it. And that's why I encourage you to share your experience, share your uh, share your questions, experience, and everything in on YouTube comments underneath my videos, or or if you go on the Reddit, try to uh, find me on Reddit. I'll, I'll if I remember, I'll post the my my username what I have on Reddit. Uh, find me there, ask me questions over there, or just drop me a line and just say, oh, I noticed a new app or something. Do you want to try it? If it's worth it, I'm and, and etc., and I'll, I'll have a go. It's too far away. Okay, I just attacked the two monsters. That's not good. Come on, kill him, kill him, or I'll die. Okay. Yes, in the face. Sorry, you don't have a target. Okay, let's pick. Okay, is that mission completed? Okay, quest completed. Let's go return the quest and. Uh, I'll finish the video. Streaming quality, uh, I think somebody's downloading. So, oh, I can see on my Note 9 is downloading apps. So it's, it's hogging all the broadband speed. Anyway, World of Warcraft on a shadow cloud gaming computer being streamed to my deck station. I'm using virtual here program to basically get this all working. If you have any questions or like I mentioned in my previous video, if you want, uh, I can do a, what's this called? Which one is better? Sorry. Uh, six. And what's this one? 
5. Okay, my bad. So yeah, if you want me to do a tutorial how to get virtual here set up, just let me know in the comment section below. We'll see how many of you actually would like to see that. And uh, I might do a video. This is uh, World of Warcraft on Shadow streaming to Deck Station. I have a USB keyboard connected to Deck Station playing the game. I have one mouse to control Deck Station and I have another mouse which has been streamed to a Shadow Call Gaming computer via virtual here to play all this and everything happens without a lag if your phone is not downloading any updates in the background. Brilliant. I'm so happy about this. Thank you very much Michael again and all of you I'll see you next time. Bye bye.